Hello there, I'm Mike Steffen, founder and inventor at Cage Innovation. Cage Innovation's sole purpose is to invent products for the landscape and snow removal industries. We pour our hearts into finding the better way to do those common and repetitive tasks that you guys are doing daily. Our design criteria starts with three things. One, simplicity. Two, competitive pricing. And three, just a real world, down to earth solution to a common everyday task. In short, our business is and revolves around our motto of experience driven innovation. Follow me for a sneak peek at the latest product enhancement. Hello there, this is Mike Steffen, president of Cage Innovation. Behind me, I've got our MT85 mini skid hooked up to a product, cage product called the Liquid Rage. And this is a Liquid Rage with an adaption uh, a summer kit that we're working on so that you can utilize this spraying technology uh, during the summer months as well. So if those of you familiar with the Liquid Rage, um, it's an anti-icing brine sprayer for winter for pre-treating the parking lots to prevent snow and ice from sticking, adhering to the pavement. But it dawned on us, like we've got a lot of weeds um, in our parking lot and around cage, the cage facility to spray, um, as well as the broadleaf, you know, in the grass. So, okay, let's adapt this sprayer to be able to do the broadleaf um, application and any weeds we've got growing in our parking lot. So I'm in the back here um, at the cage facility and I'm filling the liquid rage up with water. And then I've got this uh, Glystar we're putting down. It's kind of like a Roundup product and we're gonna go ahead and spray the weeds today. Let's talk a little bit about the adapter kit that we've got on this Liquid Rage here that we're kind of testing. Um, this isn't a product that's available quite yet, uh, but I think it might be something that we pursue in the near future. Um, so those of you guys watching this have a sneak peek at a, at a pretty awesome adapter kit for the Liquid Rage. Um, anyways, there's a reel you'll see mounted and that's a retractable self-retracting hose reel uh, it's stainless steel that we bought and have it um, sort of loosely mounted inside here but the nice part is is that it will fit within the space that the liquid rage already has um, our goal is to make a uh, you know custom bracket uh, that will allow this to be mounted inside here or alternatively if a guy wants it not inside and maybe easier to pull straight out um, rather than pulling the hose up they'll pull it straight out and be able to mount the hose reel on the outside uh, but then it's not as protected if you were to hit something so and then we've got this uh, hand wand that we're going to use and that's a uh, quite nice hand wand are able to adjust uh, the cone um, between a cone and a uh, more of a stream spray there. Um, the other thing we have going on underneath here, all right, switch the view here so you can see the, the spray bar that we've got, the adaption of the spray bar. So um, important to note here, we've got solenoid valves on either end. So these are these new nozzles that we switched out. So the usually the liquid rage has five nozzles. Um, so we didn't have to add any uh, nozzles to the spray bar we just swapped them out with different types so we took the the nozzle from the end here it used to be this blue one uh, we took this off and added this solenoid valve along with a broadcast nozzle to the end so this entire bar now is going to do about a 30 to 40 foot swath um, if these are on but the trick is here now we're able to shut off electronically shut off one side or the other the other change uh, that we made is just simply taking this center nozzle and turning this into more of a, a spray. So instead of the streamers we've got here, um, now this center one is a uh, fan nozzle. Um, so that'll produce a better droplet size that we want to kill the 
uh, the broadleaf when we're spraying broadleaf. These nozzles are just shut off for now. Um, so two out of the four nozzles on the wet bar have just been deactivated for this purpose. Um, the other thing is we've added a couple of valves here. Uh, and it's, it's a real simple way to add these. You just pop this, uh, you just pop this retainer out and you're able to plumb in as many more functions or valves as you want. So we can turn on the wet bar, which is the nozzles down here at the bottom, uh, or we can shut that off and turn on the handrail. The other nice part about having this addition is if we leave both of these off um, and run the pump, the tank will agitate and mix the, uh, the Roundup or the Broadleaf spray um, into the solution a little better. So we're going to give this a whirl today. Uh, we've already tried it with Broadleaf spray and it worked quite nicely. Um, we just had it hooked up to the MT-85 and so we couldn't fill the tank completely because the uh, MT-85 wouldn't lift this, but uh, we're able to fill it about three quarters of the way and uh, and do the job. So in a few minutes, my son Kyler is going to come and help and he's going to drive the machine around while I spray the weeds uh, with the hand wand. All right, so we finished up our bike path slash walking trail. It goes kind of around uh, through the prairie and around the inventory. Uh, and that went okay. Uh, I think one thing I did realize is that uh, since the pressure uh, is dictated by this pressure regulator, it's really nice. Uh, so I dialed that way down to like five PSI to help control the drift. And you probably saw I was bending down it's a little too windy to be spraying broadleaf or spraying Roundup, I should say. Uh, but we did it anyways. We'll we'll deal with any drift that happens. Um, for this next part, we're going to go ahead and do the weeds along uh, in the parking lot here in this gravel section. Uh, I think I'm going to have Kyler just use the center nozzle. So we're going to shut off the two side ones. All right, Kyler, go ahead and start it up so I can show them how this works. So we're going to turn this valve on. This turns the boom on. And as you can see, we've got all nozzles working, the two side nozzles and the center. And then we've got our little switches up here kind of a makeshift thing we got them clamped on here and we're going to turn them off and now it's just the center nozzle going so i'm going to have kyler drive along here and spray these weeds All right, I think that's all we got. We're gonna go waste the rest of this uh, mixture that we've got on the rest of the parking lot and any other areas that need spraying. You know, it's nice and easy to walk up to the tree rings and we'll do too. So uh, I sure enjoyed making this video. How about you, Kyler? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. That's it, folks. Remember, we're here to make it easy for you. So comment below with your suggestions or new ideas. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for future updates.